A lot of people were willing to give Anthony Joshua a pass for his poor performance against Jermaine Franklin. Now, I wasn't one of them people. If you guys see my video, I openly criticised the guy. But a lot of people out there gave him a pass because they understood that Jermaine Franklin was part of a building block to take Anthony Joshua back towards the top. Now, the plan was three fights. It's always been three fights this year. And it was a fight in April, fight in summer, and a fight in December. Now... Anthony Joshua has come out on social media and has confirmed that he will not be fighting in the summer and he'll be going directly into a December fight. He said it wasn't ideal but it's part of a bigger picture. Now at this minute to be honest with you I don't care about that bigger picture. I care about the fact that we were expecting AJ to be out in 12 weeks. We all bought that story even though some of us criticised the Franklin performance or whatever. We all still believe that AJ would be out three times so it was like alright whatever. Franklin we had to bear through it. We've done it. It's done. He now needs another tune-up before he goes into a big fight. AJ now saying, oh, there's potentially a bigger picture. Well, he, I don't know, maybe I'm guessing there's a bigger fight potentially lined up for December. Because I think we can rule out an injury. The fact that he said it's part of a bigger picture. And also, Eddie Hearn has come out on social media and he's, he's put out some quotes saying that nothing's been decided yet or something like that. And... Um, I think it was all in good time or I can't remember what it was but I'll leave a link to the boxing social article where he was quoted saying and things so, so for me personally that rules out injury it's not an injury related issue it's like these guys have come up with a scheme or something to maximize AJ's money or a big fight or the guys in shirts at the zone are like we can't pay you to fight another bum I don't know what it is but I'm not really too happy about it to be honest man I think that AJ gets a lot of passes and like if this was Tyson Fury you guys would know what the outrage would be but there's going to be nothing, he's going to get another pass and it's annoying because we all gave him the pass for the Franklin fight because we were anticipating a summer fight with, I don't know, Dillian White, Otto Wallin, someone of that level and we thought, alright, do you know what, he might not be fighting the best opposition but at least he's going to be out three times this year and we've got a mega fight to look forward to at the end of the year. Now, even if he does go straight into a mega fight, what mega fight? Who's going to, who's going to pay loads of money to see him fight anyone off the back of that Franklin fight? Everyone knows he's semi-shot. He needs to prove himself. Now, him fighting in December, all it's done is delayed things by another eight months. Here's us believing that AJ is going to fight three times in a year since, first time since, what, 2015, 2016 or whatever it was. And it's a fairy tale. That's what it is, man. We've been lied to. We've been stitched up. That's exactly what's happened. Obviously, like, I'd imagine at some point there would have been some intention of going in and fighting three times this year. But if the fact that it was, it's only been two weeks since the Franklin fight and within two weeks they're like, oh, I'm going to fight in December. That's that. Like, Give us some explanation. Break it down. We don't tease us with anything. There's, there's nothing tease worthy here. It's like you're, you're trying to be like a 60-year-old stripper. Like, oh, yeah, ooh, I'll take my bra off slowly. None of that. Listen, if you were 21, whatever, maybe. But like, you know what I'm saying? Just You're not there. You're not in a position to tease us. Just tell us what you're going to tell us. If there's a legit reason why he's not fighting, let's find out what it is. Don't try and tease us with, oh, there's something big coming at the end of the year. It's part of a bigger picture. What bigger picture? The big, bigger picture right now is why do you lie to us? And why should you get another pass? This is becoming like a one-sided relationship where they just dictate how we're going to feel. We're the ones who pay the bills. We're the ones who buy the fights. It's, it's annoying, man. It really is, I swear. But there's also a part of me as well that thinks that this wasn't a coordinated thing between Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua. I almost get this feeling that there's a bit of a bit of tension there. The way that like Anthony Joshua just put out on his social media that fight's not happening and Eddie Hearn had to come out and say, oh, nothing's been decided yet kind of thing. It's almost like AJ and him had a disagreement. AJ threw that out there to throw it into the court of public opinion to get us riled up. And to be fair, there's a lot of AJ fanboy channels out there and I'll be, get called, I'll be called a Tyson Fury fanboy just purely this has got nothing to do with Tyson Fury this video this is 100% to do with Anthony Joshua and what they're doing but it's, boxing has turned into right and left it's turned into red and blue Republican Democrat conservative whatever the other one was you know what I mean it's, it's always a if you're not one you're the other and I, I'm not Tyson Fury I'm not team Tyson Fury I think Tyson Fury is better than Anthony Joshua but this isn't about Tyson Fury this is about Anthony Joshua and what their team's doing and they're still going to get a pass from the AJ hardcores the guys who think that AJ can do nothing wrong for me what they've done here is they've strung us along for the last god knows how long three four five months and then dumped us in it by saying he's not fighting hopefully there will be some pushback from this because I don't think it's right so just the way they're going on and basically I don't know I think it's the wrong move for AJ I do believe he needs to fight in the summer and if it doesn't it's just going to be a disaster in my opinion if he goes straight into a big fight he's going to get his head taken off hopefully if that's what they're thinking hopefully they do they go into a big fight I tell you what go straight in there with Wilder after Franklin how about that do that yeah 
that's no problem at all. I've got no issues with that. I'll, I'll, start, I'll sit there and I'll happily watch that fight. And that'll be AJ's retirement fight. These guys are trying to build a fighter again. They need to do it properly. It's, it's either someone's put some money on the table and said, right, you've got to wait until December to take this big payday. And they're jumping at the chance. Or... I don't even know to be honest. He needs to be fighting. He, we will see what he put out the other day. He's he's not back there yet. He needs another few fights, another fight at least before he goes in there against someone big. If they do it, it will be irresponsible. Like if he goes in straight against a, in a Wilder or a Fury without having another warm up in between, it's irresponsible. I suppose they've also shafted Dillian White with this announcement as well. He was sitting there like a mug waiting for the Anthony Joshua fight. Now he might still get it in December, but. I don't think the boxing fans are going to accept that. I think that AJ needs to... I don't even know, man. I'm done with this video. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Or I don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.